Hi, I'm Kevin from Easy Generator Switch, and today I'd like to talk to you about why our switch will not backfeed and why when you use our switch with a floating neutral generator where the neutral is connected to the existing neutral, it won't backfeed. So first let's look at our switch. If power come in from the utility, goes through our switch and goes to your load, a furnace, lights, a refrigerator, whatever the case may be. When you switch our switch from the normal position would be the from the utility to the generator, you go through an off position. So physically our switch does this. Our switch goes from here, goes through the off, and then comes up and connects to the generator position. So now, your power from your generator is coming in, going straight to the load. There is no physical connection here. You can't be in both places. It's either in utility, off, or generator. And the off position is there in case both have power. Your generator is producing power and utility coming in is live. Is this switch momentarily stops here and it's what we call break before make. It breaks the circuit before it makes the next one and stops the arc or stops a flash over. So this is why a switch that has a label on it, a standard that meets a UL standard, will not backfeed. You can only be from the load to the generator, load to off, or load to utility. You can't be in more than one. Now, real quick, a lot of times people send us a note and say, how come in a case of a floating neutral generator, the neutral is connected to the other neutral on the house? How come it doesn't backfeed up to the street? Well, the simple reason is because electricity as water takes the path of least resistance. So your generator is putting out power. Let's disconnect it. Let's draw it like it's putting out power. And it's energizing this load. Again, it could be a furnace, lights, a refrigerator, whatever circuit you hooked up. So you think, or some people think, that this neutral now is connecting and wants to go that way. Well, first off, the neutral goes this way. It wants to energize this load and satisfy it and let it run. It wants to run the furnace. It wants to run the lights or the refrigerator. But if there is transient voltage going this way, inside your main panel, it's connected to the bus bar, the ground neutral bus bar, and that voltage, that transient voltage, will leak to the two ground rods or the two means of grounds that you have in the house per the National Electrical Code, it will leak out this way. It will bleed out to ground. It doesn't want to go here, go back up, go all the way up the side of your house, run all the way out to the street, and then find the ground out there. It doesn't want to do that. So that neutral, I know it looks like, well, that neutral, but power isn't running this way. There's a flow there, but it's it's the unbalance of the load, and it's, and it's minimal, and that neutral that's existing back in connected to your ground bus bar will then bleed off that residual it will not go out to the street so hopefully that resolved the idea of why a generator transfer switch will not backfeed and it'll also help you understand that why your generator although connected in a floating neutral connection that it will not backfeed on that neutral, it will just dissipate to those two ground rods. So I hope that helped and we will continue to make videos as you ask for them and if you have any questions send us an email. I appreciate it. Thanks. Bye-bye.